Hello guys, welcome back to Tutorials Point. Today we are going to learn about a very important topic that is nephric tubules. In the earlier video, we have talked about the structure of nephron. In structure of nephron, there are two parts, the Malphigen capsule and the nephric tubule. About the Malphigen capsule, we have talked already that it contains a Bowman's capsule in which a tuft of capillaries are present which is called as glomerus. In today's video, we will talk about the nephric which is very important in the kidneys function now part of nephric tubule there are four type four parts in the nephric tubule first one is the proximal convoluted tubule second the loop of Henle third the distal convoluted tubule and last and fourth the collecting duct first let's learn about them and their naming proximal convoluted tubule proximal means which is directly connected so, this tube is directly connected to the Bowman's capsule, that's why proximal. Convoluted means twisted, as the tubes are twisted, so convoluted. Tubule, as it's a tubular structure, that's why it is named as proximal convoluted tubule. Second is the loop of Henle. It's like a loop, that's why loop of Henle. Henle is the name which is given to it by its scientist. Third, the distal convoluted tubule. Distals me away from the connection. As it is away from the Bowman's capsule's connection. That is why it is called distal. Convoluted, twisted tubule. Tubular structure represent. That is why it is called as distal convoluted tubule. Last, collecting duct. As it is collecting the urine from the kidney. That is why it is called as the collecting duct. Now, learn each one of them one by one. First one is the proximal convoluted tubule, this part. The part, the tube which is directly connected through the glomerulus. Let's learn about it. It is present in the cortex region of the kidney, we know that. It is convoluted, twisted in structure. It is lined by cuboidal epithelium with numerous microvilli. Remember this thing because I am going to discuss in further slides. Numerous means number of microvilli are high in this tubule. Next, the cell have numerous mitochondria. We know wherever energy is required in higher amount, at that place mitochondria is present in higher amount. Because we know my, we need mitochondria here because here selective reabsorptions occur and active transport occur. For this reabsorption and active transport, we this part need more energy. That is the reason this part contains higher number of mitochondria. Next reason is the loop of Henle. Loop of Henle, if you can see the structure, this structure comes in the medullary part. It is U-shaped and form a descending and an ascending order. Here you can see this one is descending and this one is ascending. The descending one is thin and the ascending one is this one is thick. You can see here this thin and this one thick. Now loop of Henle is longer in mammals and birds but either not present or absent in the reptiles or the uh, animals which needs concentrated urine. Now, next is the distal convoluted tubule which come after the loop of Henle. This distal is away from the glomerulus that is why distal convoluted tubule. It is lined by cuboidal epithelium which is same as that of proximal convoluted tubule but here number of microvilli is less. Here in proximal convoluted tubule the micro, number of microvilli is high but in distal number of microvilli is low. The last one is the collecting tubule. The collecting tubule receives around 8 uniferous tubules. Means it is not only connected to one nephron but it is connected to 8 different type of nephron. Collecting tubule converts toward the hilum. We know hilum is the place through which different arteries, veins, lymph enters and leaves from the kidney. So in this video, we have talked about the tubular structure of the nephron. I hope now you understand the full structure of nephron. In the 
नेक्स्ट वीडियोज वी विल टॉक अबाउट द फर्दर द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ किडनीज एंड इट्स फंक्शन थैंक यू ट्यूटोरियल्स पॉइंट डॉट कॉम सिंपली इजी लर्निंग